gracious table, please welcome owner Mandy Bell. Thank you. What an exciting event. Um, good. So I'm the cook and the owner of the gracious table, Mandy Bell, and we're celebrating unbelievably our third year of operation, uh, providing catering services, um, both large and small events, um, just right here in Libby. And we just moved to a new space the first of the year that will accommodate up to 30 people, but we can also, we have equipment and uh, the ability to serve up to 300 at wherever you want to have your party. Um, and now, by the way, it's time to book your Christmas party. <laughs> um, but we started with globally inspired dinners. We still are doing those. Um, those are small dinners, 10 to 14 people around one table. A lot of you have been to, been our guests before. We've, um, we have um, served Cajun, Spanish, Greek, Szechuan, German, Irish, Italian, Thai, Cuban, and we are now serving a Scandinavian dinner for the next uh, few weeks. Um, that would be October 11th, tomorrow, November 2nd, and the 15th. And that's a five-course meal and full service. We also talk to you a lot about where your dinner comes from and a little bit about how to do it yourself, and we always share recipes. So that's the core of the business. Catering is the the thing that pays most of the bills. Um, but we've diversified a little bit since moving into our new space. Uh, we're right on um, uh, Highway 2 next to Granite Pharmacy. And we've got about 2,000 square feet there. And half of that is my beautiful kitchen. And so we've opened that up for cooking classes. And we actually have a Chinese cooking class Monday, by the way, um, if you're interested in that. But for adults and children, Sometimes people come um, with their own group, and sometimes people come by themselves. And the same thing with dinner. You can book by yourself, or you can book um, with a couple of other people. Um, we have also ex expanded a little into some retail items that we have there in the shop. And if I'm there, the door is open, and you're welcome to come in. But it is not a place where you can come and um, have lunch unless you've let me know and I've made lunch for you. So. <laughs> um, but one of the, the biggest things that happened to us this year um, was the farmer's market at Libby. And I just wanted to expand a little as a vendor there um, on what Liz said. Uh, it, I think it's, it's been a really important um, opportunity for Libby to see what can happen with the farmer's market. Um, I am on the farmer's market committee. I'm also a member of and have served on the Kootenai River Development Council for several years. And I initially got involved in, with this because I wanted to see our farmers be successful and make more money because that's what it's about. It's about those vendors making enough money to make a go of it. And so let's market for them, let's do, let's make it look nice, let's be professional about it. And, and we did that. Um, and then I was kind of pulled in as a vendor myself. And I have to tell you, it was a game changer. It was a real uh, difference maker for my small business here in Libby. And I made lots of good friends there. The vendors have, and, are kind of like a family. It's really, really exciting to see that. I had to hug everybody goodbye tonight because tonight was our, our last um, market for the season. But also, the people that, that came to, to see what was going on there, really, really exciting to see people just passing through town, people here on vacation, um, folks that, that hadn't experienced that before. And, and we, um, are ex extending that and having a uh, pop-up bakery starting November 1st. And I understand there's lots of other places where you can get bread and, and pastries, 
Um, but our artisan breads seem to be pretty popular at the market. So beginning November 1st, between 6 a.m. and 10 a.m., we'll start our pop-up bakery. Pop-up means not going to be there every Friday, but we'll let you know when we are. So I just wanted to end by saying thank you to the Chamber for um, all the opportunities that you provide, but especially uh, for the very important farmer's market, because I think we're going to see great things this next year as well. Thank you. Any questions? Yeah. So your pop-up bakery is going to be every Friday, or every, potentially? Okay. Every Friday, yep. Every Friday there will be a, a sign out front on Facebook, on the website, and then I have a newsletter. I'll send that out, too. I'm more concerned where I'm going to get my gluten-free muffins now. Right. That, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, then, and we will definitely be doing gluten-free items. And you can always order, too. Sure. You, can, you can let me know. Thank you very much for your time.